Too much wind noise. Is that backed out? Yes. You going? Yes. I can't really see. Yes. Okay. I can see perfectly. As you guys can see, got a lot of gear oil here. And, uh, show them that tire. That carries the right here. Here's the inside of the wheel. Here's the outside of the wheel. <clears throat> you really can't see anything on it. But, uh, show it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, see right here? That's what I noticed. But most of it, you look at most of this, most of this brake shoe, it's dry. And that, that's what a, oil, a wheel seal like that, especially one that's just seeping, will really fool you. I, I caught a, you know, gear oil's got its own smell, so I caught a whiff of it, and then I saw a little bit of dampness. Why? Well, I, I had one happen on another truck like this. So, uh, yeah, you're, it's good to pull that brake drum off sometimes. Show, show them right here. I mean, you can see it's been leaking quite a bit, but to look at it from the outside, you can just see just a tiny little bit of dampness. So, come over here again. On this one, this is a little different. This is a 6x2 truck, so this back axle is just like a trailer axle. So you still got a, uh, a truck hub, but then they've got this uh, hub cap, or whatever you want to call it, that takes the place of the axle flange. I bought two new ones of these because that plastic gets real brittle. Stemco makes these, so if you go to Freightliner, uh, they'll have these. That's that's what they had, 88 bucks a piece, though, for this. but. It'll last it the rest of the time I own it. So I got all the nuts off, so I'm gonna pop it off. We'll see how much oil comes out of it. We might pop it off. There it goes. It's got a lot of oxidation. Got some oil in it. So I noticed it when I was out with. I really didn't think it would be leaking that much, but I kept on checking it for heat and uh, so this one's got something I'm not used to so this is a newer style truck so this is its locking ring huh. I even have a nut that big you have to take this out I'm used to working on stuff that's a hundred years old. Oh, it didn't, did it get in there? Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. You gotta get that little ear in there. I already messed it up. There it goes. You gotta get that. There, like that. what keeps that nut from spinning off. Facing out. This side facing out. Pro torque. God's country out here, boy. Between Dodge City and Garden City, come in. Dark, so I guess I better hurry up. 
Oh man, old dad stuff like a fat rat. Uh, this place, uh, I'm here at, um, oh, come on now. Lamar, 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 Colorado on uh, 50. I'm just west of Lamar. You go past the scale and they're right here on the right. Ports to Plains truck stop. It's a pretty cool truck stop. Um, I actually went in there and ate. I never do that. A friend of mine was telling me about it. He said, yeah, go in there and eat. It's cheap. Um, it's kind of like, you know, kind of the booths look old. It's wood grain. They're kind of cut up a little bit. I think that's neat. I didn't see anybody smoking in there though. Not surprising. But uh, I got the old truck put back together. I'll probably put a clip of that in the beginning of this. Uh, I had to run all the way to Indianapolis. So gosh, I had what? Three, four hours. I had to go get a socket. Couldn't find one anywhere. I called four or five different places and finally I found one in Indianapolis. It was gonna rain the next day. So I wanted to get it put back together that night. So by the time I went up there and got it, ran back home, uh, got my wheel seal, and then it was just, when, when you have a deal like that, which you'll see on the video, you have so much cleanup. I took a great big tub of gas and just start, just scrub, 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 wash off, scrub, 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 and then brake clean on everything. It's just so much, it's more clean up than it is anything else when you have wheel seal go bad like that. That that real thick, just gear oil, nasty stuff is just hard to clean up. It just takes time to clean it up. But uh, anyway, got back together. And while I was studying that a little bit, I've never worked with a, uh, what that is, a, it's a, it's made by Stemco. It's a, it's a Pro Torque. That's a different safety clip than I've seen before, so I kind of was studying it there. Um, yeah, it's made by Stemco. It's called a Pro Torque. It's only a one nut system. You don't have a, you don't have a, a adjusting nut and a jam nut like a lot of them do. That's one of the ones I've used before, and that that's actually called a Conmet bearing. It's a normal inner and outer bearing, but it's got a spacer that goes between it and there's no setting the right torque. You just torque that uh, pro torque nut down to 500 foot pounds, which I don't have a torque wrench that goes that high. So I just tighten it up as tight as I can get it. It can only go, so they can only go so far because that spacer's in between them. And call it good, I mean, it's nothing to it. Then you slip that little clip back in like you saw me do and that's it, so. It made it here to Colorado without falling apart. Seems almost too easy. I mean, it, uh, it's it's a good system. But it was the first time for me. I'd heard about them, but I've never worked on them. So I didn't know what I was getting into there for a minute while the camera was on me. But, uh, yeah, we're here in, uh, not, I keep on wanting to say Laramie. Uh, Lamar, Colorado, going over to Denver in the morning. This is a 21-stop load. I had uh, a bunch in St. Louis. I had... One in Columbia, one in Kansas City. I had three in Kansas today. I've got three in Den three in uh, Colorado tomorrow. One in Wyoming. Now I've got another five or six on the, uh, in the uh, Salt Lake City area. Then we're gonna call it good. So that's what this old chunk of coal's up to. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next one.